Hi everyone. So today I'm making a Navajo blue corn mush for Native American Heritage Month. And this recipe, I put some roasted vegetables up on top, but that base of blue cornmeal, like there's hardly any ingredients in there, but the blue corn is just so nutty and it is amazing. Now with Navajo Nation, it is primarily located in Southwestern United States. So New Mexico, Arizona, parts of Utah. And there's a lot of history in terms of how they got there, how they went back there um, for you guys to actually you know look into for Native American Heritage Month. Um, I will be talking about in terms of the mush three ingredients in here that's gonna be your water juniper ash and blue cornmeal and uh, with the blue cornmeal we've talked about this before but the corn has been treated it's been nixtamalized um, and that means that it's been treated with a solution that makes it easier to digest and makes the nutrition in it more bioavailable for people so um, a lot of the times we'll use like masa for tortillas and those have all been treated with something like a calcium hydroxide we talked about ash cooking a little while back but what a lot of native tribes will do is to find plants and shrubs and trees in their area and actually burn them and the ash it creates not only creates flavor like a nice great smoky flavor but it also add to the nutrition and in this case the ash helps to keep the blue cornmeal extra blue uh, so that it's extra yummy and, and pretty looking for you all. So feel free to put some oil or some salt uh, on these before you roast them. I'm just gonna dry roast them. It's a little bit cleaner um, later on. So note that typically that was supposed to be juniper branches, but I got confused and I didn't find any. So that was some spruce. And so I made about a tablespoon of ash that I mixed into about a half a cup of water so that it would all dissolve. And I'm just using that to get the cornmeal nice and smooth before I add more water. Recipe and all the stuff is gonna be down below. I'm actually turning the heat up medium high and I'm slowly thickening this and slowly bringing it up to a boil. And then after which, if you want your uh, mush to be kind of thicker, you can cook it a little bit longer. Otherwise, you know, uh, it'll, it'll thicken up a little bit more uh, as it cools as well. I find that in Native American cuisine, not actually not a lot of salt is used. So if you want to, you can add some salt in the end. And I kind of just realized today, because I had some uh, blue corn dumplings today, that the ash actually contributes a lot to the flavor. 
<laughs> like um, the blue corn is still nutty, but the ash definitely made it a lot better. So if you all can find yourself, it can be like salt bush if you have salt bush uh, around you, or I don't know, find trees that you can that you can eat and and be careful about burning things down. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll see you all again next time.